What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video and today we're actually heading over to the shop Yeah, I can never ever find the right words and there's no way this is real life There's no telling you gonna be catching up with Jonathan. We're also gonna be picking up my brother a new M Sport oh, bumper. Hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully right? Yeah. Hopefully. So we finally found a bumper for my brother's 328. So let's go pick it up. I think I negotiated down to $150 for an M Sport. So we'll see what we can do when we get there. He already has all the grills and everything. So that that's how I got to negotiate. The other bumper didn't have the grills or anything. I showed him the prices. Like, yo, to get the grills and everything, it's gonna be like a few hundred bucks. So if you can at least do it 150 for the bumper, we'll come pick it up because we also have to paint. And then uh, he agreed to it. So that's how you have to negotiate and stuff like that. And even if it's the same color as your car, never tell them it's the same color as your car because they will they will up price it they know how much you want it anywho we'll catch you guys when we're either at the first location or the second let's just get some money real quick got the money we got the money let's, let's go. go now we're at the post office so we're just gonna drop off a few things and then we are ready to go just melt out some of you guys e46 parts if you guys need any parts from the e46 make sure let me know on instagram without further ado let's go ahead and pick up my brother's bumper Finally here, getting the bumper, let's load her up. Just like that guys, we have an M Sport LCI front bumper, so we are good to go on that. So the only thing we need now is gonna be the hood. So I don't know, should we just go carbon? Honestly, the car is black. No, though the but. car is black should we just go carbon honestly because like the hoods are super hard to find and then when you, when you get them painted they actually start to chip and stuff so we'll see we'll see unless you get it painted really good but honestly we're considering a carbon fiber hood let us know if you guys like a particular hood down below <laughs> we finally made it to the shop me and the little kiwi over here back at the shop so we're gonna go ahead get inside i think jonathan's inside actually so say what's up oh shake it bacon <laughs> no nah. Yeah, it's not the module. That's not the right module. Well, anyways, how's Christmas? It was good. Yeah? Good. Okay, good, good. What do you mean it's not the module? So, it is the module, but I bought the wrong module. So, I got an FRM2 module, and I need an FRM3 module. So, luckily, it's covered by BMW warranty. No? Nah. Yeah. But okay, it's, cool. It's like 10 years, 156,000 miles, so I need to get it done real quick. Oh, my. 2010. <laughs> <laughs> he needs to get it done right now. Oh my yeah. god. Jonathan finally got his transmission pan. Oh my, <laughs> dude, this brings back so many memories. FTP Euro, when, baby. <laughs> really? Yeah. Lifetime warranty? Yeah. Lifetime. Made the right move. Exactly. I remember I got the exact same thing on my uh, my 330i, because I don't know if you guys remember, but I had to do a transmission flush, transmission, uh, new pan, and all that good stuff. Um, actually, bad stuff. I thought I was going to fix my jerking thing, but once your transmission's jerking, you're kind of screwed, so don't worry about it. Unless you do the solenoids. But I, I figured I'd just replace the whole train. Now we're here with Jonathan. Um, you don't want to do the transmission thing today? Uh, I don't know if I should mess with it now, and... Maybe it's not running when I have to go take it into BMW. Yeah, good point. Because so, um, it is 10 years. I don't know what that means exactly. You guys can let me know down below. If it's 20, if it's 10 years, it's a 2010, and it's about to be 2020, does that mean it is good throughout 2020 or the, as soon as it hits 2020? Let's go ahead and unload that bumper real quick. And then uh, I think we're super hungry, so you might have to get something to eat. So let's just get that bumper real quick. All right. M Sport LCI, dude. We guys, it is so hard. And then we realized my brother has sensors on his, so we're gonna have to get the sensor brackets and drill holes. So we gotta do what we gotta do. Let's go jump in the beast real quick. Eat something to eat. I'm starving. That carbon, though. Shout out to Keys. First link down below. How's that working out for you? Good. good? All right. Good. We are finally here. Fuck out. Ah oh, man, so I was looking at the footage and I recorded us getting the food, but I didn't record us eating the food. Things happen in life. What's up guys? So my boy Johnny over here, we're taking a look at the beautiful baby right here. And um, oh yeah, it's a double latch system, I forgot. Pull it twice. Got it. <clears throat> Bob? It's not crazy dirty, but I'm gonna make it look all nice and shiny. I want it to make it look beautiful. It's gonna look beautiful. Hell yeah, boys. I wanna ask you, how much is it? Okay, so the, not the cost of the products itself, but the cost of like to do this car. So we wanted to actually put it in perspective for you guys. So these are all the things that Jonathan is saying that he needs to make this car look like a beauty. So he has to see all the dust and stuff. I'm gonna show you guys the carpets in a little bit. You also do need a vacuum. So buying the vacuum is about $60. How much is all this stuff? So this was five bucks on Amazon, five bucks in Only Walmart. Only five dollars? Five bucks for okay. this. And this one's really good. So this one was 10 bucks. This is what's gonna make this all nice and shiny. It's gonna restore this too. No. Nah. It should restore it. Dang. It has for me before, so. He's talking about this white stuff all yeah, over here. Yeah, it's pretty bad. It Dang. should restore okay. it. That'd be sick. 
This is for carpets. What you do is you vacuum first, then you put this on, and then you revacuum it. And you get like the nice- The lines and stuff? Lines, yeah. Oh, the ones you see at the deal. Yeah. Okay, so how much is this one? This one, like 250 at Walmart. Make 250. Sure, make sure it's this one. This one's like the best I'll one. I'll have links down below, guys. So 250, $10, $10 five, bucks. five bucks. So we're looking at about 1750. And these Plus, rags, you can get a four pack at Harbor Freight for $3. Let's say 20 bucks almost, all right? And then I'm hoping you guys have a vacuum at home, but if not, it 60 doesn't bucks. It have to be a shop vacuum. Yeah, it could be any vacuum. Any vacuum, almost everybody has a vacuum. It can just, it just needs to be a vacuum. That's all you need. So it's a pretty much a $20 detail, but the cost to just do this car with these products, how many, how many cars can you do with these products? Probably do like 20, maybe 20 cars of these products. 30. This one will last a long time. This one will go pretty quick and this will actually go like, this is like maybe two, three cars. Okay. For, for that. Two, this is cars. probably like 20 cars. It's probably like 30. Okay, so we're looking at maybe it's a three dollar detail. Probably like three dollars, realistic. Dang! All right, guys, so we're gonna show you guys what you guys can do with three dollars because this the, the cost of buying this is about twenty bucks, but obviously you can use it for future references. I'm gonna tell you guys how much it's gonna cost to detail this car, just this single car, and still have these products to use on future details as well. Now, for me, I don't know much about detailing. I know how to vacuum a car. I know how to grab a towel with some water and wipe down something. I should, you know, that's my that's the best of my ability. <laughs> and uh, I know for detailing people, that kind of hurts because water should not be going, especially on components like this, for the most part. So. John's gonna show you guys is how to make the car look like a dealer car, like how you actually go to the dealership and you see it's like brand new. This is a clean title, but it looks super filthy. I'm gonna go to run a cinematic for you guys. It's gonna show how dirty the car is and then hopefully show you guys the process and the finished touch. All right, guys, three. Uh, that's two fingers. Three, two, one. So yeah guys, you guys saw how filthy this thing is. It, it doesn't look too bad from a distance, but when you guys come up close to it, you know, it, it needs a little bit of love. So this thing has been a parts car. It's been getting all my parts. This is a great daily. I love this thing so much. It's been put to good use. We finally got all the parts my brother car, my brother's car needs. So I think now it's a good time to take care of it. Again, special shout out to Johnny over here, hooking it up. And special shout out to Erlon and his brother for educating my boy. Is that what happened, right? <laughs> For the most part. So yeah, for the so some things he's learned, some things he's learned from them. So shout out to everybody over here trying to make this car beautiful. Let's go ahead and see the process. And I forgot to mention a two dollar brush, the twenty two. But still, this is like you get to use it for yeah. for a long time. And then I upgraded. You don't have to upgrade, but it just makes it easier for me.
So you guys saw, that looks insane. Shout out to Jonathan. Jonathan's over here tired. I think he's gonna retire. He's super tired right now. <laughs> Shout out to, how you feeling bro? It's, I'm feeling good. I like cleaning, I like cleaning stuff. So detailing is like really nice for me. It's like, I don't know. It, it gives him the satisfaction. Yeah. So good for him, honestly. I mean, I, for me, I like cleaning to an extent, but <laughs> if it's my thing, you know, I'll clean it. But he wanted to go ahead and detail for me. Show off his work. And you guys can see the engine bay looks super good. You guys also saw the carpets. The carpets looks like as if you just got the car from a dealer floor. So it looks so sick. Obviously, that's not going to stay there for a long time. I think it'll go in after like a few hours or once you actually It'll sit down, right? It's a week and then it's gonna get pretty dirty. Yeah, so that's just like that's that's yeah, that's carpets. Your, where's your feet gonna go? You know what I mean? Jonathan's also hooking up with this. This is like just some extra stuff. You don't really need it. Um, it makes the car smell dude, amazing. it's, it's I'm is, like, oh dude, my I'm god. You, oh, it smells so good already. Dude, this is my favorite. Like, if you're gonna get an air freshener, this is the one to go with. The Coronado Cherry. This is honestly the best. It lasts forever. You put a little bit of water on it and you put it under your front driver's seat and it stays for like months, like seriously. I put it under the front driver's seat. Oh, you put it on the front yeah. driver's seat? Oh, that's it's, perfect. It smells really good and it comes up. Dang, look at this, oh my lord. <laughs> the interior, right? It looks, so it looks so good. I don't even want to sit in it, dude. Let's just, just, just want to call it tow truck? Anyway, shout out to Jonathan for that. He's actually gonna go ahead and start working on his 135. I don't know if you guys have known, if you guys are new to the channel, but yeah, he got a 135 and he has a few things he needs to fix on it. When he coded the transmission, unfortunately, his FRM module went out, so he's gonna, he's gonna have to go ahead and fix that. But meantime, when he picked up the car, it came with a transmission leak, so he's gonna go ahead, replace the pan, replace the fluids. If you guys are wondering how you do pan and fluids and all that stuff, and you guys are on my channel, make sure you check out Jonathan's channel down below. He'll have a video on that pretty soon. Or actually, by the time this video goes up, it'll probably be up. But anyways, guys, the exhaust is actually coming Coming in. I just ordered an exhaust for this car, so I'm sure you guys are gonna be stoked for that. Suspension's already here, so we'll get to that as soon as I get back. But yeah, without further ado, so much things to do as soon as I get back. Giveaway car, all that good stuff. So if you guys are excited, make sure to smash that like button. Without further ado, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. See you guys in the next one. Peace out. Yeah, yeah, let's go. I ain't the first with the curse, with the thirst that I wanna be better, not worse, man, it hurts. I'm on this earth with my words and I put them all together in cert cause I wanna have worth.